Hello everyone, I am Attila Turso, an international master and chess coach. Welcome to my video about my Simul, which I play on the 23rd of August in 2015. Let us start the games. I start to accept the challenges first. So let me accept the first challenge which was sent from Ivan. I will play it right here. Let me start with the king pawn. Let me accept the second challenge from Robert from England. He plays with white. I accept the third challenge from Levin from the United Kingdom. It started with e4. Let me play the Sicilian. I haven't played e5. I plan to play the Italian game. Knight f3, d5. Control the center. So play the Italian game. Let me accept the other challenges. I accept the challenge from Samuel from Sweden. He sent a challenge with third, which and only one second increment. That's not good. We need to have a 15 seconds increment, so I play here also the Sicilian. Another game, I start here with d4. I plan to play the Slav defense. John also sent me a challenge. I play, I play d4 against him. Johan send, sends me a challenge. He's from South Africa. I start with d4 against him. Italian game, I play c3 with the idea of d4. Close Sicilian, I play knight c6 to control the d4 square. c4, I develop the knight f6. I think there are a couple of players who did not send me the challenge, so I need to look into it and maybe challenge them. One more player. Dave, I start in the e4 against Dave. The e4 point is saying, so I defend with d3. Need to ask if Eddie wants to play with uh, white or black. Please send me the challenge again. Okay. Challenge me with thirty time control. f4, so g6, I must develop the bishop there to save my king. Can you send me a challenge? Play black, wonderful. Okay. Was now it is good. Okay, let me start with Eddie. Also, hopefully, e forty five. Let me start one other game. It's bishop f five. I try to, or bishop g four. Maybe bishop g four more active to pin the knight.
play with white or black. Milk rusty. Also rust should send me the challenge. Eddie, I will challenge Eddie in a moment. So the time control is 30 minutes plus 15 seconds increment. It would be good unrated. And I play it back. Bishop b5 wants to capture my knight to create out one, so I move it to d4. Let me challenge also Lang. Okay, 30 minutes 15 seconds unrated. And I will play black so I give the advantage of Y for him. Castles, he wants to play with d5, so I move back to bishop. It will not come to by attacking my bishop, so g6. Let me get the center. F6, I want to play knight f3, developing and preventing e5. So knight f3 to prevent e5. Okay, take my knight, I defend me to bishop and develop at the same time. Let me develop a knight c3. Get control of the center with c4, capture the center pawn. Okay, and here, here we come. So e4 is attacked, I will defend it the knight. Control in the center with c4. c5, let me win some space with d4 knight, c3 developing my knight. f6, that's a strange move. Let me just control the center with d4. And here comes the check with the bishop. I defend. Bishop e6. Okay. h3, I defend uh, bishop g4, and, and maybe I plan to move up with pawn g4, g5 sometimes in the future. I attack the center pawn, captures. Okay, I want to capture with the bishop, with the bishop, or not with the pawn. So it's attack the knight. Queen e7. Okay, I develop my. Bishop to g2 to control the center. e4, let me control the center. Knight to c6. Okay, I just play natural moves, I think. Knight c6 developing. Knight c6, bishop g2, okay, let me develop again. Knight e2. How can I develop? If knight f6, then he plays e5. If I play, I cannot play d6 because of the bishop. Maybe I attack the bishop to force him back. Okay. h6. Okay, queen e2, so I prevent the exchanges of the queens maybe in the future. h3. Okay, let me. Capture or bishop h5? Let me capture just to play. It's very safe. Okay, knight c6. I open up for my bishop. I prefer castling bishop e2. f4, wow. It looks so serious. I think king's gambit. To be careful, okay, capture, accepted. E5, okay. 
I just defend the default one and develop it. So bishop there. b5 and bishop b7 to develop. So I plan to push, put my pawns in the light squares and my bishop on the dark squares so they both control the lights and the dark squares. Capture. Can I capture with the knight or with the queen? Hmm. With the queen, the knight e4 may be strong, so I capture with the knight. Knight f3. I want to defend my f4 pawn in the future, so I play h6. I play, plan to play g5. Okay, bishop b7 to attack the center pawn and developing. d6. Okay, I think. This diagonal to the bishop c a2 g8 is weak because f6 pawn moved, so he cannot cast like I want to prevent the casting. Bishop g5, okay. e6 just opening up for the space for my other bishop. Castling. Okay, I also cast with b safe. Let me look my Skype, somebody may message something. So Eddie did not get the challenge. Let me see. Did we start? Mm -hmm. Let me look something. Here comes challenge to play. Let me challenge. Play black. 30 minutes or 15 seconds increment. Please. Something happened. Looks like he cannot challenge me. Be sure you use the full version of the live chess. Okay, so d3. Play d6 too. When I, I want to play knight f6 and then if he plays e5 I can capture. board he should use. So d6, okay. So I give a check to make a little confusion if plays the bishop on this end and the knight cannot develop. If the knight moves then the bishop will be hardly develop. This check is normally good for some confusion. Okay, let me just play so simple to develop. Okay, let me say our players uh, hello. Thank you. Thanks for the playing joining. The Hope to get the challenge. Also try to so. Let's hope against Lang it starts the game. Hope he, he will make a move. 
because if you don't doesn't make a move on from one minute then we should try again. Just develop control controlling. So D6 Okay, so let me leave some more space. So it should work to accept new players. I just accepted somebody else. Okay. So, oops, I think I forgot about the d4 pawn. When I play knight f6, the d4 will be hanging. Okay. So, I play a4 because he wants to play a6 and then b5. So D5 to be more space. Developing my other knight. Now what I want, I want to move back this knight to move to D3 to have my C5 advance. And maybe my F2, F4 advance. Okay, A6 to prevent bishop B5 and I want to play B5 myself later to advance the key. Queen side pounds as a pound storm. Say square for my king. So now when my, the knight captured, then my d4 pound is in danger. Should I move my d4 pawn? Or bishop e3 may defend but then captures the knight and it makes kind of double pawns. I can play d5 and then come back with the bishop but if we close in the center that helps his king I think. Interesting. I may want to open up the position a little bit, so I capture him if I to, because his king was in, is in still in the middle. Ah, he did not capture my d4 pawn, that's good news. So I think the knight will just castle, get my king to in the safe square. Wonderful. The game started also against Eddie. So I just continue my plan. And here also developing. Ah, this is what I wanted because now I can move back the bishop to unpin the knight. Here. Should go forward. I can go by a3 and then b4, or I can also think to move up the pawns on the king side with f4. A3 and a4 if I queen captures, yeah, that looks fine. Let's continue the development. Still need to continue the development. Maybe rook e8 or queen develops to maybe queen a, queen a5 to attack the knight in the meantime in the same moment. C5. Let me go more more space. Dazzling. I 
I didn't accept the challenge in time. Let's do it again. I was too slow to accept. Please send again. So let me wait here. Oh, shows you disconnected. Challenge the center. Castle. Should D7. Where can I develop my queen? To B3 maybe? Mm, that looks solid. Attack. Okay, let me just go out with this knight to the center. Developing my rook. Challenge to a game. Very important thing in life, never give up. Try to find new ways to solve the situation and sending a challenge. Okay, so I want to exchange the bishop so you have no bishop pair anymore. So he comes f3, I want to push back this bishop. Capture back with the pawn to control the center. Bishop f1 to open up for the rook and, and defend my pawn with g5. Castling. Okay. Just develop. So here can make some attacking moves like bishop at b5. Or I just captured that nice bishop so we have the pair of bishops. Well b5, he plays aggressive. Hmm. Looks like a good attacking move. Can I capture that? Then the knight is attacked. 
And it looks a good idea, I think, to capture there. And go back with the bishop to a safe square. We get control of the open file. Okay, c6, my other screen, b6 to attack the b2 pawn. Let me attack knight b5, c7, and also, they, and also may I may play knight d4 to attack the queen later. a4, so it's closed, now I think I need to reposition my queen, maybe to go back to d1 and then e2. Because the b5 pawn may be a good target later. Oh, this is one of my ideas. If you cast it, then the a2, a7 pawn will be hanging. So I got it and I capture it. Rook c8. Okay, I open the way for my other rook. Rook 2 this knight f6 normally is a little mistake because I capture on e4, knight capture back and now I can play e4 to get the big center. So better after c4 to defend the pawn with e6 or c6. So my knight is hanging, I come back. So queen b6 attacking the b2 pawn. Knight c3 develops, I develop also my bishop and saving my rook. Rook takes c1. Let me develop my rook to d8. Possibly we play e4 and then a d5 will be open soon. Queen d8. He also moves the queen to maybe to b6. Need some regrouping. The d2 knight normally is a weak one, which cannot really move, like knight b1, knight c3 is maybe an idea to, then it will be attacking the b5 pawn. Or f4 I can try to, I can think to attack on the other side. Or to make also moving my bishop back to f1 later. Attacking the b5. Hmm. Those are interesting ideas. Queen e3 and the knight g4. I play f3 and then queen f2 if queen b6 comes. And then I plan just to make a. I have a space advantage and I want to slowly improve my position. Knight c4. Okay, let me attack the queen. Capturing back with the knight to have a nice centralized knight. Oh, he wants to double the rooks, maybe there. Hmm. Can we capture on c and play e5, but that just helps him to improve? Looks like I need to wait. How can I wait? The double the rooks and then still not much to do. I'm going to play for e5. Ah, I came back with my queen to a safe square. Ah, he wants to come with the rook there. Let me change rooks and then come in with the other one. Eight. The e4 is a target I think I need to defend that one. The f3, but then it would be king, queen b6. Be dangerous if I play bishop e3, then he just captures. I will move bishop to f4 to attack his d6 pawn. So now rook c1 attacks. Knight g4. Okay, I develop my other bishop. Okay, 
let me just develop ok, I accept Eddie again send the challenge, hopefully yeah, it will start now wonderful, now and wonderful the game ok ah, the game started, wonderful Oh, but I can get some challenges here if he captures and okay, let me defend with my queen. Let's see five. Okay. F three to defend or if queen c two then sometimes he captures on e four and the d four knight is hanging. F3, then Queen B6 attacking the pawn and the knight in the same time. Hmm. Need to be careful. Queen C2 captures, but then if he captures the knee for a capture back, be sure, and then the D6 pawn will be hopefully also hanging. Hmm, let me try. Knight h5, he wants to play knight f4, that looks strong. Need to prevent that. Maybe knight goes back to f1 too. If knight f4, then I can capture it. Queen e5. Okay, now I think this knight is hanging, so I will capture the knight. Rook c3, yeah, I was thinking it will come. <coughs> now I was thinking that I play knight, rook, knight b1, and then if he captures the knight, then rook takes c8 check, so he captures, then it's just captured back. Looks safe. Ah, oh, if I nice, so now I can save the things. Rook d1, let me save the knight first of all. b3, active play. If you need to capture it. Bishop is hanging. I need to put it to a safe square. Queen g3. And I defeat me by got an g6 to be safe. The king. A3. So I can I try to attack on the queen side actually. Queen b6 and then b4. Knight c6. Okay, I defend the knight. Captured back with the pawn. So, I can develop with knight e7. Yeah, I open up for the bishop in d6. Developing my queen. d5, playing aggressive. If I move my knight, <coughs> then his queen will be attacked. I play knight f5 maybe. Yeah. That looks safe. Queen e1, he wants to play maybe e5. I move my knight to c5 to attack his strong bishop. Okay, developing my bishop. So we play the Moro Gambit. Should be seven. I have more space, so possibly it's better if I can avoid the change of pieces. So in the screen, D2 was not that. Oh, I, I wanted to play knight D2, knight C4. Now let me just wheel off. Let's see. Play safe. Rook c4, if I capture the queen, captures back. That looks I play bishop f1 too. Maybe attack later the b5 pawn. Queen attacks the b2 pawn. And the e4 pawn at the same time. If I can open up the b5, that would be, I think, just nice for me. Let me 
Bradford the exchange of queens infinite advantage material then exchange captures okay queen c7 let me exchange okay and and you have knight g6 to get a safe position. F5 coming. Okay, I go on the other side, try to attack. Now uh, exchanging queens is a good idea. And up a piece. Knight g3 he captures. That looks not that nice. Double pounds. Cannot really castle. Um, I move this knight, then he's kind of forced to play the knight to f4. She wants anyway. A G3, I think, to stop that knight. So, we'll capture with this one. He wants to play with C3, so I want to move the knight somewhere to save square. B2, then C3 comes with the tempo, that's not a good idea. Let's move back to F2, so to prevent him to check. So, so. And then a knight C3 to block it. Knight to c2 captures, threatening to fork my rook and bishop, so I defend this one. e5, wow, we started some attack, so I think I need to take it to recapture. Develop. I have knight e4 or knight d5. Knight e5 looks a little bit safer for me to close the file. So the knight moved to attack my bishop. I go back to defend the other knight. He attacked my knight. Okay, I capture and win and defend. Okay, I plan to move back this bishop to open up for the rook. Let me block that pawn. Develops, okay, let me develop also. But here maybe this pawn will be a weakness. Take it and queen c2 and then I think he cannot defend anymore. Oh, let me take this nice bishop. E4 pound is hanging. I defend it. Captured, I need to capture it back. When I will not able to castle, Ooh, that looks a little bit dangerous. Hopefully, it will be okay. So let me get some more space in the center. Exchange. Normally I like to capture back with the e pound, so then I will get like knight e4. If you can capture with the c pound, then also it opens up for his rook, so I just take with the c pound. Now it's time to push back this knight. Knight has three checks sometimes in danger, but it's not yet threatening. Let me just prevent him future knight g4 and open up. Okay, and this looks too dangerous because now queen g5 check may come soon. Can I just play now rook d8? So if check, then king f8 just in time saves the things. Let us hope it works. 
Maybe rook c8 to attack or Swiss king. Okay. F5. Oh. So it comes to be really aggressive. Now if I move my knight, then his knight will be hanging. Also, this will attack my f2 pawn, it's starting to be very, very sharp. But I think I have no, not my choice. I should play aggressive. Or I can play maybe knight d2 to defend the e4 pawn if I want to play safe. H for knight, F for capture, capture knight, F6, I can win some material mid there. Let's hope the best, okay. So, I need to start maybe with A, B3, A3, B4. Let's go for the end game exchange. Queens get open file here also. I need to win, I think, some time. Looks like I'm just going a little bit tight. If you possibly come to c5 with this knight, so I need to prevent maybe this with. I d7 or just accept it. Later try to exchange. Or I can think to make, make some attacking ideas on the other side. Let's try counterattack instead of defense. So a4 pound may maybe still a bit in a target, so I come in to c3 with my it changes are welcome when I have an advantage material. Castle long to play at aggressive. <coughs> so it looks dangerous. Let me develop this one. Doubling the rooks. Ah, so not a check, but this is a stronger move. So now I need to move back the rook possible to defend. Oh, but then it will come a check and we lose the pawn, but I think I have not, not much of a choice. Defend the bishop. Develop my queen also. I may think of the castle long if I can, that would be nice. Develop the other rook. Now see, this looks really strange because of this diagonal. e5, sometimes I think of taking and then bishop b4, but maybe it just comes back with the bishop, so it's not yet that strong, but keep in mind. Okay, let me try to attack the d6 pawn, give me a good target in the future. Oh, he captured the pawn, but I think it's losing the piece there. I think capture back with the queen to attack the rook. So, now I can capture the knight, or I was thinking maybe to play knight g6 and then capture the rook. Knight g6, bishop f2, queen f2, rook f2, check, that looks good. Okay, let's say this, knight g6, queen f4, 
If I castle, that looks not good because he plays d5. I'm taking my pawn here. I may castle short. Yeah, let's cast a short and then try to attack on the other side with some brown storming. Developing my knight. And here. So knight c5 is the plan. Okay, just come back to defend. Yeah, this game looks not good anymore. The G7 pawn is hanging. Maybe I can, if I go back to C to the knight, to C4 comes in. He gets a counter play against my. Let me get my king also happy. In the end game, normally good to get the king involved. Capture some more pawns. So now here he has a double pawn, so he cannot make a pass pawn. It's, not, it's like weird to like I'm playing with an extra pawn, so should maybe improve my situation playing d5. Bishop b4 sometimes may help. Queen h4 looks like a attacking move. Or just developing, ah, just developing queen d7. f5 so we make some counterplay. Just come with the king closer. Bishop f3, so he did not take the pawn immediately. He wants to need more. More than just the pawn. Step here, rook d8, maybe, to rook c8. G6, none of those looks good. So they capture and rook three doubles on the file and rook d8 may come. Ooh, I try maybe to exchange queens, that look, would be nice if I could exchange queens, but possibly it will just end captures. Did I? Uh, oh, okay, I already. Did I move my king? Yeah, I moved my king. So I cannot cast along, that was an idea. We I try to play rook d8 to make some exchanges if it wants to. Try to go for a rook end game, that would be a chance to have a bump on less. Okay, so let's get to that rook. Was to capture that pawn, so knight c5. <coughs> so now maybe I, the idea maybe I will just change that knight, go back with the knight to e6. My idea is to come here with the king to defend. That was my idea to defend. Want to attack this double double attack, but. I can also capture here and go for an end game. Capture, capture. So I have some more pass pawns that may help in me in the end game. Or if you just go for exchanges. Go playing f4, maybe change more things. We change the knights. So f2 is hanging, I need to maybe block it. In knight e3 or bishop e3, let me just change that bishop, which is strong. 
A3, okay. Maybe I try to throw A6, B5 to attack. Let's go to attack here also. Capture. I need to now to play quicker, I think, because time is going down. I cannot make much comments here. So I go for exchanging the strong knight. Give a check, just make some confusions maybe. And now I think I need to make a new queen with the, the H pawn. Okay, attacking the E4 pawn. Saving my knight. Just get back to stop that pawn. Let's go for the exchanging, exchanging queens. We really have four in the this kind of positions in the end game of the evening. Wow, that pawn looks starting to be strong. Wow. Just threatening C2 and then rook B1. Oh, I need to be careful. Maybe give a check and then come with the knight to C4 to attack. Okay. So here comes the challenge. Check with the queen, king, b1, capture. Be better if I capture now. I didn't change. I, that it looks nice on C6 with the check if this is really the case. My bishop is hanging. Where should I put maybe here to save the pawn on B2? Ah, exchanging queens. Happy to do that. Let me exchange things because I'm down on time, so I want to make some simplification for the simple positions. Just we need some more space here. Take that, that strong pawn. B5, wow. Making a sacrifice. Pawn sacrifice. Is it good? No. Let me take it. Take that bishop also. And let's try to make some counterplay here. Quick development. So, if I take with the pawn, then rook c7, then rook d7, take, take, and other rook comes, and my g7 is hanging. Okay. So, so I capture with the queen. So let me take that. I mean, it's a check. My knight is not making much there. We will, we will come to c4 to make another exchange. Let's just cast a play safe. Oh, good. End game looks good with the pair of bishops, so I go for the end game. Save my knight. Oh, already I got some blunders here, because if I capture the pawn the knight g4 will be capturing the h2 pawn, but maybe I cannot do much to prevent it. So this comes, maybe rook c8, if capture is captured back, that looks safe. Let's see my rook is saying, so we cannot capture on b7. Let me get the rook to help. B6 square looks nice for a knight. Developing. Get to open file. Ah, that's a rook. Ah, I can get near the 8, 6 pound. So 
so I am giving away but that knight may be in danger sometimes I remember knight 2d2 offer the exchange of the bishops if captures I can capture back so that's nice let's try to make some attack continue to attack so rook captures back now I should try to be active. Queen exchanges are welcomed. Oh, queen h4, that looks good idea because the queen moves, the queen has no move. Okay, so plan is to here to play bishop e2 to catch the okay. Bishop e2 died of rook a2 checkmate. So rook c5. My back rank is actually in trouble, so I need, need to open up or and the b5 pawn is sending. I play a6 and the b7 is sending also. Okay, let me open up just so to prevent the checkmates. Make a change. Get my queen to the center. Double. If I go with the king to maybe capture it, it looks maybe a good idea. I need to checkmate. Okay, great. Whew, I won my first game, so now open up for the rook. Ah, maybe I just first play safe. No, I need to speed up. Looks like my time is tight in most of the pos most of the games. I think from here I will be not able to speak a lot go for them again that's nice my chance get my king active This was my plan to make a change sacrifice.
this is my problem because I'm ready for checking the Try to make some activity. Tracking. It's a nice idea of capturing the night in the Ruptix history with this night A2 checkmate. Capture, but then the rook is hanging, so it's not working now. I defend. Oh, it's very active, those knights are dangerous looking. Bishop H2 actually stunning. Oh, and then Bishop G3 and that's a checkmate. The bishop moves then check and go to F pawn. The queen check. That looks also working. Oh, I wish I see for the bishop d4 check. And I capture it, I capture it, this other check. Oh my god. To play something quick. Yeah, this end game is looks really bad. Is it? Ah, it, this oh, game looks maybe okay or not. It's interesting. Play the king. The king will be quite strong. Let's get some activity there. This is an interesting endgame, I'm not sure it's better for me or him. So, attack. I need to make an attack. 
attack. The second round that looks good with the rooks. Mean space. Go forward attacking my bishop. Stay in the middle, to stay in the center, that looks maybe a good strategy. Coming from behind, okay, let's push, push back this bishop. Oh, that's a strong double attack. Strong counter attack. G5, I lose the G5. Oh, that's not nice. Can I give the queen? Looks not enough, looks not enough. I ideally make some. Counter branches. So I have one pawn less here. Well, that's not that good. It's interesting exchange sacrifice. I don't think that's enough good. Stop that pawn. Oh, this way it also wins. Oh. It's nice. I should exchange the sacrifice my queen. Yeah, so I give out the queen. Two bishops is not that good business. Looks strong. So long time and so long time. Sorry. Sign, which is
Well, I start to have again with more time. I can speak. I make some exchanges. This pawn and game should be still maybe a draw, but my king is better. I cannot do much with my better king. My pawn structure is also better. Still, if these pawns are defending well the square, so I cannot come in. A5, wow, if I captured, the knight is captured. So I should move my knight somewhere. Go here, here. Quick because on the other board I haven't had much time. Get a safe position. King will be closer to the other side, so that looks dangerous. Should go forward. I will just wait here. Most better king, I move forward to win this pawn, so I just waited, and this is a draw possible. Yeah, if he goes to e4, I go to g3, and I capture him, and this pawn with queen, so he should maybe stay there. So this will be now a draw. Okay, let's exchange with a check. So I should activate the other rook. This bishop. Go for a new queen. Rook d8 and queen e6 check. King b8 and I get a new queen with the checkmate. If rook d7 and e8 with the checkmate. Think check. Capture what this rook also has. Oh, this was a powerful move. Capture the knight b7 check. Yeah, now it's too many pounds and bandages that he has. So this checks is I thought. Rook d7, then e8 checkmate, king b8, then 
He takes d8 to checkmate. I can get a rook here or a queen. It's fantastic. He offered the draw again. <laughs> That's such a lost position. Nice. If I capture with the knight, then I can sacrifice the rook. And if I rook takes it, knight b7 wins back. I think now here it's just lost. Get to the other side with the rook. So here the c6 pawn can be a target. Maybe I can double the rooks or b5, b5, rook b6 or b5, bishop b6. And this is a checkmate. Only one ga game left, I think, against Eddie. Maybe I lost no time already. Maybe he just played. When I rook b7, maybe a nice way to force to go to the knight and king takes back and knight d6. Ah, this is one more game. F6 to challenge. Uh, I have bishop, so I try to maybe exchange pawns, open up a position. Yeah, A6 is just too, so strong. I got the pawn at least. Rook B7 will come because it gets the G7 pawn. Knight d6 check, I go out and then a7, a7, a8, so I need to like, resign after a7. No chance for a check for a stalemate, I have too many pounds. So I think it will be winning for him. I think he, ah, he wants to capture to the check. So this can be a good target, this pawn, so maybe I just exchange. Yeah, now this is the time when I should resign. Check and he moves out, that's not helps. Yeah, thank you. It was a nice well played game by Eddie. So I think now there is only one game left. Where is that game? Here. Okay, so I captured back. So the target is the C6 pawn. I plan to play bishop B6, never bishop E8, because he may defend with knight B3, knight E4, but I uh, want the bishop there to B6 to attack that. Square on d4. If you play bishop e3, I just take on e5. If it takes on a7, then maybe rook a8. If it's 
steht frei. Yes, it's more time than I teach, but now let me see I play around at the same time because in nearly every game I was down on time, but now I have a chance again. Knight B3, then still Bishop B6 check, King F1, Bishop E8, and I take it. If Rook B1 maybe tries to attack my b5 pawn then i start i think with rook bishop e8 then i went to check and bishop takes it. okay so he wants to come right before if knight c5 then rook takes c6 uh, if he moves the king i find the bishop d3 bishop c4 looks also a good idea to block the rook and then capture on c6 Looks a good idea. Or, or bishop e8. I think it looks nicer, the, the bishop will be stronger. Okay, check. And bishop c for the next move, so I make a pre move. There's only one square to move the king to e1. I have a little time by moving the bishop immediately to c4. Knight a5, then it defends the pawn. So I'm thinking if I take, then it will have opposite color bishops, but I have two passed pawns, one extra pawn and two passed pawns. That should be enough for a win in those two pawns. So capture, capture, and capture this one, and then start to push the pawns even this h6 looks weak it moves back the knight to d2 and still i capture c6 now bishop check then king e8 okay take and then that one if it takes back okay bishop e3 maybe to, to stop and attack i can play rook c7 or rook a8 Maybe rook c7 because with the king I can come somehow to b c8 to defend this pawn. Ah, this is nice, so I don't want to capture. b4, let's go forward. It was open for my bishop. Some options later to take, but it's, I just want to push out that one. B3, B2, oops, and I want on time. So, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the matches. I enjoyed it very much. And I guess a little bit in time travel in a few games. So I, next time I will try to make it the quicker in the opening and the middle game. But it turned out to be some good end games. I hope you we will be able to play with you in, in the next Simos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.